Dear Mr. Breen, Mr. Steve Chen, Mr. Chad Hurley, Mr. Javed Karim, and whoever else is in charge of making my favorite YouTube, I have some sad news concerning the Russian office of your worldwide company. And yes, sorry for my bad English. My name is Dmitry, and I have over a million and one hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube with a medium of four hundred thousand views on each video. The main topic of my videos is social and economic issues concerning my country, Russian Federation. Maybe you have heard about the oppressed liberty of speech in the Russian media, TV, radio, newspapers. With every day it is more and more difficult to tell the news that are not accepted by the Russian government. No criticizing of Putin's internal or external politics is allowed. And now they are making the Russian YouTube look like Russian TV. I know there are some new YouTube rules regarding hatred and discrimination, so the videos where people kill each other and terrorists with their crazy speeches would be banned. I find it great and necessary in the modern world, but we always have but in Russia. I have all the reasons to believe Russian YouTube is working with the Putin's government, deliberately destroying the YouTube channels who are criticizing Russian politics. First reason YouTube rule about hatred is the reason to delete only the opposition videos. Yesterday Russian YouTube deleted to be or YouTube channel, which was telling many news regarding the mistakes and crimes of the public servants in Russia. The channel's creator, however, did no racial or discriminating or hatred videos. His main priority is to tell about the problems in Russia nobody else is telling, make them public and notorious. Note that the channel had only 83,000 subscribers but made enough use on the videos to make problems for the government. So Russian YouTube makes free strikes for that channel, saying it is hatred, and deletes the channel. Another YouTube channel having troubles with strikes from the Russian YouTube is Jan's channel. His creator tells about policemen's unlawful doings and crimes. He gets much more views than the previous channel, but still hatred is the reason he has two strikes already. But there is no hatred on his videos, only stories describing the terrible work of the police in Russia. Maybe you would say hatred is how you live in Russia. It's okay to delete these videos. And you would be right if Russian YouTube deleted all the videos with hatred. All the videos with hatred and made strikes for these channels as well, but it is not so. A vivid example is the Navalny's Hitler video, which was not deleted when it got to the Russian YouTube top with the help of a million's government bought views. But still no hatred from the Russian YouTube for this video. Or for example this video where Russian politician Zhirinovsky is openly calls out to the hatred towards Western countries. <laughs> This video is not deleted because of hatred as well as many similar videos on the Russian YouTube. Let me assume the reason is there is no criticism of the Russian government in this video. It's the same with nearly all the videos with the criticism of the Western countries on Russian YouTube. No strikes for hatred. Strikes for hatred are only for the opposition channels, telling about the criminals and the government. YouTube channel whose creator is Anatoly Shari, who criticizes the Russian opposition, the same way we criticize the Russian government, is not facing any problems with hatred as to be or YouTube channel. Anatoly Shari's channel is not blocked and he is okay. Russian YouTube thinks it is okay in Russia to criticize anything but the Russian government. I got one strike as well for the reasons of hatred on a regular video with no hatred at all. Just telling about economic and social mistakes of the authorities in Russia. Yes, Russian YouTube looks forward closing my channel as well, but not so fast as to be or channel. Cause I have over a million subscribers and that could be a scandal. They'd rather make it step by step. There is plenty of time till the Putin's elections. Just like the Russian policemen and special services, Russian YouTube prefers causing trouble to the opposition channels with minimum publicity. Russian YouTube did not answer to my appellation, notwithstanding the fact that's already two weeks and they do not explain the proper reasons they deleted the opposition videos. 
So you see, Russian YouTube found this reason of hatred for deleting videos criticizing Russian government, completely forgetting the real reason hatred was added to the YouTube community rules. And Russian YouTube does not do the same about videos with hatred towards the Western countries of the Russian opposition. Second major problem is the uncontrollable amounts of bots in the top of the Russian YouTube. Guess where do these bots make dislikes? thousands of dislikes under the videos of the opposition channels. Check what users made the dislikes and you will understand these are fake accounts used by the Russian government to dump the opposition channels. As well as the dislikes, Russian government bots make hundreds of thousands of additional views to different videos, criticizing Russian opposition and Western countries. Nothing is done by the Russian YouTube with that videos, however, these videos should be deleted cause of fraud and fake views. Please check the users making fake dislikes and fake views on some of the economic, social and politics videos, with the help of your access to the insights of the Russian YouTube, you can easily check that all. By the way, just look at my income for the last month. So many views, so little income. The reason is special lists for the opposition channels are created on Russian YouTube. These channels get no advertisings to leave them without money, so Putin won't be criticized. Let me be clear, I am fond of the YouTube service. It is a great possibility to make plural opinions in the Russian media. Tell something different about how TV or radio or newspapers explain how Russians live and how the Western countries degenerate. Russian media really tells Russians that the Western countries degenerate. Seriously, it's no joke. They really tell us. And it is a great problem. The Russian YouTube became the Russian TV with the same censorship. Censorship towards the channels that are criticizing Putin's government. The reason of hatred to delete these videos and these channels are made up. Completely made up. This hatred has nothing to do with the real hatred killers and terrorists proclaim in their crazy videos. Russian YouTube is using hatred as the possibility to dump their position channels. Just like it tolerates government bots and videos in top of Russian YouTube they push. Hope you take a serious look in the Russian YouTube and make something about it. Its censorship politics completely fulfills the Putin's government interests, but they do not fulfill the freedom of speech requirements. Thank you.